Alrighty guys, I have homework for you. Page 823 and 824. There's a little mouse on it on the scale, right? We're, we're weighing things. We're um, seeing how much things weigh. We don't have a scale though in our classroom. So we're just kind of using the numbers they give us or kind of guessing how much it would weigh. So 16 one ounce weights are equal to one pound. So 16 ounces is equal to one pound. Use the table below to determine a pattern. Then find the weight in ounces that is equal to four pounds. All right, so here's my one pound is 16 ounces. Two pounds are 32 ounces. Three pounds are 48 ounces. Four pounds are 64 ounces, right? Every time I'm just adding 16 more, 16 more. So a four pound weight is equal to 48 right, plus the 16 or 64 ounces. All right, so now we have to compare, right, how nice we have the chart today where we were doing math in class. So two pounds, two pounds is equal to 32 ounces, 32 ounces. So now I can compare it. What's bigger, 30 or 32? 32 is bigger, so I'm going to use the less than symbol, right, the less than symbol has the point in the front. 98 or 6 pounds. We only went to 4 pounds on our chart. So let's practice our multiplication, right? It's so good for us to practice. So I know we did this one today, so maybe you remember it. 16 times 6. Right? First I do 6 times 6. I get 36. I carry my 3 up to the tens place. And now I do 6 times 1 plus the 3. I have 96 ounces. Is, right, I'm going to abbreviate ounces, O-Z. 98 is bigger than 96? Yes. So now I'm going to use the greater than symbol, right? Greater than starts with the big and has the point on that side. So now I have 11 pounds compared to 176 ounces. I need to convert my 11 pounds into ounces so I can compare it, pair them. So I'm going to take 11 times 16. Right? I have a double digit problem, double digits on the bottom, so I have to have two numbers and I'm going to add them together. First I'm going to multiply 11 times 6, then I'm going to multiply 11 times 10 and, and add those numbers together. So 1 times 6 is 6, and 1 times 6 is 6. Right now I'm going to put this here because I don't need to use that place value anymore. Now I'm multiplying 11 times 10, right? It's 110. So I would do 1 times 1 is 1, and 1 times 1 is 1. There's my 110. Add these together. 6 plus 0 is 6. 6 plus 1 is 7. 176 ounces. What's bigger? Equals. Nice. All right, now I have 7 pounds or 109 ounces. So I'm going to multiply 7 times 16. I'll do it over here. I'm going to put the 16 on top. I like to have the double digits on top. If I only have a single digit at times a double digit, I'll put the more digits on the top number. So 6 times 7 is 42. Hope you know that one. That's a tricky one to remember somehow. I carry my 4. 7 times 1 is 7. Plus 4 is 11. So now I, right, I just multiply one time because I only had the ones place. So I'm going to do 112 ounces is greater than 109 ounces. All right. Fill in the blank with the correct word to complete the sentence. Weight is a measure of how blank an object an object is. So write weight is how heavy an object is. How much does it weigh? All right. On to the back. Pause if you need to. Here's Kurt. Kurt measured the weight of a ball python snake. I don't know if you've heard of a python. It's kind of a snake. His first measurement was 48 ounces. His second measurement was 3 pounds. Compare the two measurements. Use less, greater than, less than, or equal to to make a true statement. So I'm going to do 48, and I'm going to put ounces, and I'll leave a space. And three, and I'm going to write pounds. Write ounces. The way I abbreviate it is O Z. 
and which is weird, right? What I know the O, but where's the Z from? And we decided maybe it's ounces because I say the ounces, but really I say says at the Z at the end. And I'm going to say pounds is the abbreviation for pounds is L B, small L, a lowercase L, and a B. So I have to put here which one's bigger, which one's smaller. I'm going to compare 48 ounces to 31 to three pounds. Sorry, I can mess up there. It's three pounds, not 31. All right, so three pounds. Oh, let's use our chart. Three times 16, right? Three pounds is 48 ounces. Equals, right? Three pounds is 48 ounces. I just looked it up right here. Three pounds, 48 ounces. 48 ounces is equal to 48 ounces is equal to 3 pounds. Lori, Mindy, Lori and Mindy measured the weight of their book bags. Lori measured her bag using pounds. Mindy measured her bag using ounces. Circle the measure that is more appropriate to measure the weight of a book bag. Right, book bags are kind of heavy. Usually I use ounces to measure stuff when they're lighter and I use pounds to measure when they're heavier. And I don't know, I've picked up you guys' book bags, so I would probably use pounds to measure a book bag. Right, if I measure a person, I use pounds. We measure ourselves by pounds. I don't say how many ounces I am. But a mouse, I might measure him in ounces because he's lighter. All right, I need 16 ounces to make a pound, right? So if it's not more than 16 ounces, I'd use ounces, or if it's small. All right, so Tracy measured the weight of her hamster. Her first measurement was 13 ounces. Her second measurement was one pound. Which measurement is more precise? All right, I'm gonna say the 13 ounces than the one pound. All right, if I put it on a scale that measures pounds, it, if it doesn't weigh a whole pound, it's gonna just tell me one. It doesn't normally tell me zero. But I'm gonna say 13 ounces, I don't know for sure, is, I'm going to use this word, probably a more precise measurement. If something is precise, it's like exactly, we just try to make things precise, we want the exact right thing. All right, here's Quentin. Quentin measured the weight of his laptop. His first measurement was 94 ounces. His second measurement was 6 pounds. Compare the two measurements. Use less than, greater than, equal to. 